Dive into the world of personal finance and uncover the secrets to achieving financial independence and retiring early. Picture this, a life where you are not bound by the constraints of a 9-to-5 job, where you have the freedom to pursue your passions, and where you have complete control over your time and finances. This is what financial independence promises. It's a concept that's gaining traction thanks to the financial independence, retire early, or fire movement. It's all about securing enough savings and investments to generate sustainable income, freeing you from the need to work for a living. Central to this is the mastery of personal finance. Understanding how to manage your money, save wisely, and make smart investments is the key to unlocking financial freedom. So, are you ready to begin your journey to financial independence? Stay tuned for the five simple steps to get you there. Scene script. Step one in the journey to financial independence is understanding your finances. Breaking down your finances can seem intimidating, but it's a crucial first step. Your financial health hinges on three key elements, your income, your expenses, and your savings. Let's dive into income first. This isn't just about how much you earn from your job, it's about every penny that comes into your possession. This could be from your side gig, interest from savings, dividends from shares, or even that birthday money from grandma. Add it all up. This is your total income. Next, we tackle expenses. This is everything you spend money on. From your daily cup of coffee to your monthly rent or mortgage payments, every expense needs to be accounted for. Don't overlook the small stuff. Even those seemingly inconsequential purchases can add up over time. Lastly, we have savings. This is the portion of your income that you don't spend. It's what you squirrel away for a rainy day for your future or for that dream vacation. Now let's bring it all together with a practical example. Suppose your total income is $2,000 a month. Your total expenses amount to $1,500, leaving you with $500 for savings. That's your personal budget. Understanding your finances is like having a roadmap. It shows you where you're starting from, where you're heading, and how to get there. Remember, knowledge is power, especially when it comes to your finances. Step 2 involves learning the basics of investing. Now, why is investing important? Simply because it is one of the most effective ways to build wealth over time. To achieve financial independence, you need your money to grow and work for you. And investing allows you to do just that. Imagine this, you're planting a tree. You start with a small sapling, water it regularly, provide it with sunlight and nutrients. Over time, that sapling grows into a sturdy tree, bearing fruits year after year. This is exactly how investing works. You start with a small amount of money, nurture it with regular contributions, and over time it grows into a substantial sum, yielding returns year after year. So, how do you begin? Start with understanding the basics. Stocks and mutual funds are two common types of investments that beginners can explore. Stocks represent a share in a company, and as the company grows, so does the value of your stock. Mutual funds, on the other hand, are a collection of stocks, bonds, or other assets managed by a professional fund manager. This diversification reduces the risk and makes mutual funds a good option for beginners. To begin investing, you might consider opening a brokerage account. This account allows you to buy and sell stocks, mutual funds, and other securities. You can start with a small amount, say, the cost of a dinner out, and gradually increase your investments as you get comfortable. But remember, investing is not a get-rich-quick scheme. It requires patience, discipline, and a willingness to learn. Do your research, understand the risks involved, and make informed decisions. There are plenty of resources available online to help you along the way. Investing is a crucial step towards financial independence, so start small and learn as you go. And remember, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago, the second best time is now, so don't wait, start your investing journey today. Step 3 on this journey involves adopting a frugal lifestyle. Now what do we mean by frugal living? It's not about depriving yourself of everything you love, but rather making mindful decisions about where your money goes. It's about distinguishing between your wants and needs, and prioritizing the latter. Let's imagine for a moment. You're a coffee lover, and you buy a $5 latte every day. That's $35 a week, $140 a month, and over $1,600 a year. Now consider this. What if you started brewing your coffee at home? you'd probably save a good chunk of that money. Another example of frugal living is cutting back on dining out. Preparing meals at home is not only healthier but also significantly lighter on the wallet. And here's a pro tip. Planning your meals for the week can prevent impulsive takeout orders. Frugal living also extends to larger decisions like housing and transportation. Choosing a modest house within your means or using public transportation instead of owning a car 
can save you a substantial amount of money over time. So, you see living frugally is like a treasure hunt. You're always on the lookout for ways to save without compromising the quality of your life. It's a lifestyle choice that pays off in the long run, allowing you to put more money towards your financial independence. Living frugally doesn't mean living without joy, it's about making smart choices that prioritize your financial future. Step 4 is all about planning for retirement. Now, we're not talking about retirement as in rocking chairs and bingo nights, no. We're talking about the stage in your life when your investments and savings can comfortably cover your living expenses, allowing you to choose how you spend your time, whether that's traveling the world or launching a new career. Planning for retirement early is the secret ingredient to achieving financial independence. It's like planting a tree. The best time was 20 years ago, but the second best time is now. Start by calculating how much money you'll need for retirement. Imagine Mary, a 25-year-old. She's wondering how much she should be saving for her retirement. She calculates her yearly expenses, multiplies them by 25, and voila, that's her retirement goal. Why 25, you ask? That's based on the 4% rule, a rule of thumb in the finance world that suggests a sustainable withdrawal rate from your retirement savings. But remember, this is just a starting point. Life is unpredictable, and financial independence is not a one-size-fits-all concept. Your retirement goals should reflect your lifestyle choices, your plans, your dreams. Maybe you want to travel extensively, or perhaps you're planning to support a cause close to your heart. Whatever your goals are, Factor them in when you're planning for your retirement. Planning for retirement is planning for financial independence. Start now and reap the benefits later. The final step in achieving financial independence is maintaining financial discipline. It's the cornerstone of every success story. It's not just about making a plan, but sticking to it, come rain or shine. And that's what separates the financially independent from the rest. Think of it as a marathon, not a sprint. It's about making steady, consistent progress towards your financial goals, whether that's investing a set amount each month, living a frugal lifestyle, or putting aside money for retirement. Every little step counts. For instance, let's look at John. He set a goal of saving 50% of his income each month. It wasn't easy, but he stayed disciplined, cutting out unnecessary expenses and investing wisely. A few years down the line, he's well on his way to financial independence. Remember, the journey to financial freedom isn't always smooth but with discipline and persistence you can stay the course. After all, financial discipline is the key to unlocking your financial freedom. There you have it, five simple steps to achieving financial independence and retiring early. We've journeyed through understanding your finances, investing for beginners, living frugally, planning for retirement, and staying financially disciplined. Each of these steps is a crucial piece of the puzzle, helping you to build a secure and comfortable future. Remember, the journey to financial independence isn't a sprint, it's a marathon. Which of these steps will you implement first on your journey to financial independence? Share your thoughts in the comments below.